Hello, with over 10 years of experience and track record of incredible student outcomes, Wiz Juniors is an investment in your child's future. Whether they are 6 or 18 or somewhere in between, we've perfected the system to guide them from a total beginner to college bound pro. Our technology platform includes unparalleled access to 122 plus quality courses, expert educators for live learning, and exclusive tools for their long term success. In demand curriculum plus skill certification, our students can dive into the hottest tech courses built around tools from Python, Adobe, Games, Microsoft. Google and more. They'll hone their skills, create an impressive final project too. Top talent from universities like Stanford and IIT has created courses for students on coding, designing and productivity. We have introduced gamified learning for a long term success. Our students work hard and play hard to unlock a love of learning and prove mastery, ultimately earning the badge of level 10. It's a total package unlike any other. When we saw the big problem that my own children and students are spending 5 to 7 hours per day screen time, most of which is usually unproductive, we also saw that technology courses in schools are taught through textbooks, 80% theoretically and 20% practically. Our youth are unprepared for the current employment demands due to mismatch in skill and technology knowledge. There is scarcity of awareness, quality of education and of course knowledgeable teachers. Students have limited time and resources to learn tech inside and outside schools which are relevant to the current scenario. So here we have a, a solution for the entire problem where we are making students productive online with technology along with fun and an engaging manner. And our mission has been to make students prepare for futuristic in-demand skills. Also upgrading the tutors and system on a regular basis and to stay ahead of students. Incorporating the learning of academics and value in tech courses so students can get the opportunity to focus on their other activities. So as like a proud mom loves to talk about their children, the same way me being the founder of the company I would love to talk about some of the success stories of my alumni. First is Medhansh Mehta, who is an 11 year old child. He created a mobile app, which was a game controlling climate change. He also got a chance to meet Mr. Satya Nadella and is called the Microsoft boy. His vision after joining Ms. Juniors is to become a Microsoft CEO. We have Salil Nayak, who is 17 years old now. He is now, a, he got full scholarship in Harvard University and he writes to us that Viz Juniors has been a turning point in his life. He also has a vision of becoming and owning his, becoming a CEO and owning his own technology company. Ahan Padnes, age 14 years, a homeschooler got hooked on to Viz Juniors and started learning various tech courses. With learning, he made certain websites and app which he participated in the UNESCO Worldwide Competition. He was then invited to UN and became an unparalleled winner in UNESCO competition. He is already an entrepreneur. We have Namya Joshi. I have no, I have like no words to tell you how she is. She is a 14 year old child who made her entire project of magical world of books. 
she in fact converted the entire egyptian civilization topic to uh, you know how to make it interesting using minecraft she has been training tons and tons of teachers not only nationally but internationally how to teach using technology and of course she is my student and i'm very very proud to say that she has a vision to shape a better world now let's quickly delve into the product as soon as you go on wisjuniors.com this is the home page that opens up we have around 2 lakh students 5700 plus two, uh, teachers and 2000 plus schools they have been associated with us where children are spending more than 27 minutes of their time productive online when you go down you will see that there are various courses to choose from we have divided the students into different groups that is first second third in group a b c d and e respectively every year we have one offline award show which is like a huge big thing where the winners of various competitions and achievers of wish juniors are recognized with educationists and stalwarts attending the award show there is one annual competition which i will be talking about at the end of the product showcase called techathon that we host every single year and of course some of the entire testimonials from parents and principals and our numbers i would like to show you that the 122 courses that we have a few glimpses of it so we have courses right from the basics of computers starting with typing to cyber safety taking the children ahead with canva designing with prezi filmora with video editing the microsoft office suite the g suite tools and then taking children ahead with a lot of coding tools like html jquery we also have children designing with the whole adobe suite right from photoshop to after effects and then xd we have children coding on python php java we have also given a few courses on their school curriculum for their relevant years children can also develop games using unity 3d and c sharp and of course make their own mobile apps using mit app inventor you can click on the course and of course view the details now as soon as the child gets on to wisjuniors.com the child has to sign in when he signs in okay this is the kind of dashboard that opens for the student now we have divided the courses depending on the uh, in the in subgroups all right as soon as the child gets on he is given suggested courses depending on the standard that he is he is in so there is a learning path that is given to the student let's say the student decides to take up programming languages as soon as he clicks on programming languages he can choose from the various programming languages that we have let's say the child chooses to learn python as soon as he picks up python in the entire student cycle we have four steps to complete step 1 the student learns from the video tutorial that we have created now these video tutorials are all made in house and of course we have had a rigorous cycle of making sure that the child is getting engaged in the video tutorial itself you can play and then you can watch the entire video tutorial once it is on after this video tutorial step 2 is that the child has to solve mcqs which is multiple choice questions these questions are based on the topic that you are learning so for example if you are doing python these questions easy medium hard are on the topics that you are learning as soon as you click on solving the mcqs the entire impact of you learning through the video tutorial is all created and you know the topic perfectly well once you have submitted 
these MCQs. Of course, you get your results regarding how many are your correct answers, what are your wrong answers. You can also go ahead and reattempt and then you can go and review your quiz as in what is the right answer and the answer explanation. After you have done your MCQs, now it's time to do the practicals. Practicals is the main USP of this juniors. Here we believe that the child once they see it, they can complete it and step by step learning will help them achieve their goal which is completing the entire topic. So here what happens is the child will watch the reference video. As soon as the child watches the reference video, then the child submits as it is uh, required in the reference video they watch they do and then they will upload the practical over here so how in candy crush we cannot jump a level the same way to ensure that there is path based learning unless and until you upload this practical the next practical will not be unlocked so this ensures that the student is submitting uh, in a path based manner now the child has learned, the child has practiced using doing the MCQ as well as the practical. It is our turn to prove that the student has learned. So here we will go for certification. Now when we go for certification, the child has to give us one monetary term which is called as a credit. So over here, this is the kind of screen that will appear. The child will read the rules and regulations. They will read, read the judging criteria as in how their project will be judged. They have to do two tasks as in the multiple choice questions as well as the projects. And of course 75 marks is the passing. Once, you will, uh, once the child has read all the rules and regulations and given one credit to do the certification, then the child just presses proceed. As soon as the child presses proceed, then time for the MCQ starts. Alright, after the student does the MCQ, they have to do the project and there comes the result. So then the result is shown in this format where there is a mark sheet. The MCQ result is automated, automatically shown and your project marks will come depending on the planning, difficulty, resources and engagement. You can view the child's project over here and in every project the child has been showing their image. So we can come to know that the child has submitted its own certification. After that we can view the certification, download and print or the student can also share the certificate. This certification holds a lot of value as the student can show these certificates and get also admission in their dream colleges. I would then like to show you different other features in the dashboard. First of all, the student can invite friends over here where the student, so this is called a referral program that we have. The student can put the friend's mobile number, send an SMS post to the friend and every certification that the student does, they earn gems. Over here, we also have a daily spin. When the student comes in, they can daily spin and earn various gems and coins. Now over here, gems is one of the elements of the platform that is redeemable. So for example, if I click on this, there is a Wish store that opens up. In this Wish store, depending on the level that the student is on, he can redeem the gems. This level is decided on the number of certifications that the student has completed. Now this is just like a carrot in front of the rabbit. So for example, over here, if the child aspires to have a MacBook Pro, or the child aspires to have a Nintendo Switch, then the child has to work so hard to get two and a half lakh gems 
and make sure that he is uh, redeeming it for the gadget that he loves. All right. After this, I would also like to show you. Once we have the reference, we have in fact the bestore. I would like to show you something called as the credits. Now these credits are exchangeable, as in these credits are there which are given on every certification that you do. Over here, the student can buy the credit. One credit is for two hundred and fifty rupees, whereas ten credits are for thousand rupees. They can also pay pay the gems and then buy the credit. Over here, you can see exactly where the credits have been used for and where they have been deducted. In case of any payments made to purchase the credit, you can see over here where the credits have been purchased. Similarly, you can see your gem store history where all you have used your gems in redeeming the products. So this is basically like your khata book. Or your accounts, where you can see where you have spent what and what has at what time and at what second. Okay, we have coins as the third element. So gems is redeemable against the wish store. Credits is for certifications. We have coins as one element which tells the ranking of the student. Okay, now over here. In coins, you can also see the entire progress of the student, how much he has learned, how much he has practiced, and how many certifications has the student completed over here. So you can see each and every course on what the student has done. Even regarding the certification, you can see all the remarks that the teacher has been giving in completing the course. We have this one very new feature and a very exciting feature. In case you wish, so let's say if you are learning Python and suddenly you get stuck somewhere, you wish you can immediately contact the live support, which will take you on Zoom and directly direct you with the person sitting on the other end who will be helping you, who is also an engineer, who will be helping you to solve your query. Now I would like to show you one very important feature, which is called the leaderboard over here. Now this leaderboard is what our students have been looking at tremendously. So we have been following our analytics, where we have seen that due to healthy competition, the children have been seeing what they are doing. So for example, we have a weekly winner called Sora Roop Das. Was from Tribeni Tissues School, Kunti Ghat. And in case I wish to see that how come Sora Rup Das is number one, I just click on this and I can see how many certifications and how many topics that he has completed and so on. Similarly, I can see my daily winners. I can see hourly winners. I can see annually who's on top and also. I have minutized this entire thing to make sure that you can also see the school children, your own school friends, where they stand. So, example, Shresh Daga is from Cathedral and John Connan School. In the same way, there are Al Shreyan is coming second. We have Aditya Merchant, we have Advitya, we have Anil Kanoja. They are all in Cathedral, and you can see their ranking and take it ahead. All right. Now, last is I would like to show you is the profile. Over here, the student can of course change their profile. They can add their own profile picture. They can change their passwords. This is where the details are captured. And from here is what we map the student to the school. Once this is done, this is the parent mobile number and the email ID which we are using for communication. Now we would also like to show you a few more features in this juniors. One is Vista. For example, over here we have an entire showcase of students who have certain ideas and they wish to develop that idea and showcase it to their to the world. 
So this is one this talk where we make sure that the children get a platform to showcase their ideas. In case their ideas are wonderful, then we showcase it to the rest of the world. I would like to also show you, last but not the least, is our Techathon competition. Here, students, so this is techathon.wizjuniors.com. You can view what the competition is all about. So you can go it is India's biggest tech quiz marathon. So here the student comes in for 15 minutes every single day and they do the tasks that they have been asked to do. So there is whiz talk, there is some activities that have been given and they also have to come and uh, complete the entire quiz that is being given to them. So this is how Techathon flows. It comes from intercity to interstate to national and then of course we declare the winners of Techathon. Okay. Before we go ahead, I just want to quickly show you that we also have Wiz Juniors for Teachers. In Wiz Juniors for Teachers, we have courses that are relevant and they are best practices of teachers. So for the past three years, we have been researching and making sure that the teachers are giving us inputs so that we can automate their process. So for example, we have the entire MS Office suit for them. We have the entire Google suit for them and so on. So let's say the teacher chooses to learn Google Forms. Again, there are four steps for the teachers. They watch the video tutorial. They solve the quizzes. But most importantly, the teacher needs to complete the practicals. For example, over here, the practicals are related to their school work that will be useful for their day-to-day -day lives. So they can create a re registration forms, they can create worksheets, they can create identity cards in Google Forms, they can customize the settings and so on. They can create feedback forms and survey forms and so on and so forth. So what we have done is they can also automate their attendance using Google Forms. So we have taken the use cases from teachers made the practicals in such a way so that the teachers are learning from the practicals at the same time implementing these practicals in their schools. Lastly, we have the certification. Teachers also go ahead and do certifications and as it holds a lot of value for the teachers in upskilling them. Now, before I sign off, I would like to show a small video of one of our students who has been endorsed by Mr. Satya Nadella himself on 25th of February 2020 in the Bangalore Tech Summit. Do have a look and for any queries, you can get in touch with us on uh, vidushi.daga at clonefutura.com. And when I was thinking about this, one of the stories uh, that I came across, which is very inspiring, is of Namya Joshi. She is a 13-year-old in Punjab uh, who created a course material using Minecraft. And she's now trained herself, 100 plus teachers, uh, around using Minecraft. And it's so great to see that, that through gaming, you can in fact have an entire sort of uh, set of you know, people get attracted to uh, STEM education. And so Namiya's story I thought was a very inspiring way uh, to end our sort of discussion today.